guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually heading over to the garage right now. Um, we got a few things we gotta do today, but are pretty much exciting stuff. I have my brother here with me today. Um, we're gonna actually be working on his car, so pretty stoked on that. We're gonna actually try to finish up his car completely, and then hopefully get a few things done, like registering the 128, helping uh, Devon with his new car. We got a whole bunch of stuff we're doing today, so stay tuned. So we just made it to the shop. So at this point, I'm just waiting for the Wi-Fi guy. There's a Wi-Fi guy, that's why I'm here. Lightweight early, I was actually supposed to be here two hours ago, but you know, your boy didn't want to wake up two hours early on his day off of school. It ain't happening, man. So anyways, uh, I'm waiting on him, and then once he gets here, uh, show him the place, to see if we can hook up Wi-Fi, because we need it. By the time this video goes up, we're gonna have security, we're gonna have Wi-Fi, so no funny business, all right? No funny business. But yeah, all, hopefully all that stuff's gonna be installed. I'm pretty stoked on it, but uh, this is this is the best part. We're gonna have to just wait. All right, guys, so we're calling Xfinity right now, and they're still not here yet. We've been waiting about like an hour and a half. So we're back at the car, and uh, the, uh, you saw a car? You found a car? We found a car, boys! So uh, what kind of car is it? Is it gonna be the car? That's the question. It might be the car. So let's check it out real quick. All right, let's check it out. We are pulling up, so this is how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna go check it out. If everything checks out, I give her the money, and we're good to go. We'll take the car. If not, then I'll walk away and no questions asked. You guys, I'm parked right here. Car's right there. Um, looks slightly modified. That's that's good. That's great. That's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her, see what's going on with the car, and we'll see if we'll pick it up or not. Alright, guys, so I just took the E90 out for a test drive. It's a clean title. Um, it's fairly nice. It's pretty well optioned sports package. It has a you know navigation all that good stuff It's a nice car paint seems pretty fair. It's super dirty. I can't really I'm not too sure But the main concern for me was when I was driving it There was this huge reek of like this huge smell of gasoline like it's so strong I checked the front end hoping it's a fuel injector not a fuel injector I uh, checked the gas cap, not the gas cap. So it's definitely coming from the fuel tank itself. I checked the top of the fuel tank. I took out the rear seats. It is no leaking from the from the from the fuel pump. So that makes me lead to think the fuel tank is cracked or somewhere it's leaking from the bottom of the car. And that's first thing unsafe. And second thing, replacing a fuel tank is very expensive, very time consuming. And I don't know if I'm even capable of doing something like that because I know you have to you have to drop the whole rear subframe for that kind of stuff. So very complicated work. I don't know. It is a clean title. So um, I did tell her once she gets the bill of sale, I'll meet her back. We'll see. We'll negotiate. From what I've seen, I think I'm going to offer a lot lower than what we were initially about to purchase it for. For now, I'm going to go ahead. Me and the are about to get something to eat because we're hungry. And then uh, thank God for our blessings after that. And then we'll go back to the shop and chill for a little bit until we figure out what we're gonna be doing if we're gonna be picking this thing up or not we'll see uh we're actually just gonna head back to the shop the day i got this car a, a tree literally fell and cracked my glass like literally like the, the wind was super strong and just flicked at me like that cracked my glass and went right back so unfortunately yeah so my, my glass is a little bit cracked um, I'm gonna have them seal it up to make sure that crack doesn't get any further just until I get a replacement. Um, so they said they're gonna be at the shop in 10 minutes. So we're heading back to the shop, get our, our windshield fixed, and then getting something to eat and then waiting for them to get the bill of sale. Once they get the bill of sale, we'll see if it's worth it. fix my windshield so I check back to you guys when they're actually finished with it that is a crack right there that just happened literally a week ago so that sucks but anyways let's see if that's gonna go away uh, or get any better but you guys can see like that crack it honestly looks so much better and it's not going anywhere so thank goodness but yeah so far so the, the, the windshield is fixed it should the crack shouldn't go any further and it actually turned out pretty good so I'm pretty happy with it I know it's a new shop but we're running out of space look at all this <laughs> Why is this here? Why is this monstrosity? What, what, what is he doing? What is what is this? This thing doesn't need to be worked on. This thing needs to go. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. It's all right, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, guys. So we just got something to eat. Um, you know. It was all right. I didn't like this subway at all, to be honest with you. But anyways, I just head over and um, pick up a car. All right, guys. So after she promised us she'll hold the car until her uh, fiance gets back from work, um, she already sold the car. Apparently, I guess the, the other person really didn't care about the pink slip not being signed. Uh, the pink slip wasn't signed, 
it wasn't signed by her because it wasn't under her name and it's not under the last name of the person that she was saying so it felt a little bit weird especially considering the price so we didn't we didn't go for it looks like somebody else may have gone in it for either a parts car because you can easily get the car towed away but you cannot register the car without those signatures or you know I don't even know if the car is hers or not so I, I really didn't know about the situation I felt uncomfortable about it it's whatever that's life a deal pass it may be a bad deal maybe maybe it wasn't meant for me so that is that we're gonna head back to the shop and we're gonna get other work done I'm gonna stay positive here we still got a lot of work to do we're still blessed let's just get that work done all right guys my brother's gonna go ahead and attempt to back this thing out we're gonna park it probably out here mainly because we don't want a bunch of dust in our garage so we're gonna park right here start sanding it and stuff like that all right so let me show you guys what we don't want you guys see all these circle holes right there we don't want any of that stuff so we're gonna have to sand all this down uh we pretty much want it to look like this you guys don't see any uh pretty much i think it's called fish eye so you can see you can see a bunch of it right there we're gonna have to go through this all sand this i think we're gonna go ahead me and my brother gonna work on this side first try to get this whole side done so at least we could polish it make it look good and then we're gonna start doing on that whole other side and then we'll start doing like the trunk and then the roof today's goal is to get this whole car completely done so let's get to it All right, guys, so basically, um, some bad news happened. Very bad news happened. What's the bad news? We're not giving, no, we're giving up. <laughs> <laughs> we're giving up, guys. I mean, we tried, Devon helped us out, we can't do it. No, Devon has nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Devon's like, I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> walk away when I, when basically, I guys, the car is what, we were trying to get the fisheye out, all right? And we're not professionals. So um, the machine came in in the end. We used the machine in the end and we basically gave up. So basically, oh, it's called orange peel? Anyways, we had, we had a, apparently a little bit of orange peel and um, basically we we're trying to sand all that out. And then as we we're sanding all these edges, I don't know if you guys can see, just became white, like all over the place. And that got depressing real quick. So I don't really know. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you want to get all that fixed all over the car, he's going to have to sand the whole car and redo the whole process and repaint all that stuff. So. I honestly don't think it's just worth it at this point. Yeah, it's a mistake. It's not a mistake because we've learned a lot from the process. Now we at least know how to paint a bumper and know how to get every single corner on a bumper. We can work our way up, but jumping straight into a car, I think was a little bit too much for us to handle, at least for our first project. So I don't think we're giving up on painting. This is just, unfortunately, we messed up badly. Uh, me and my brother Devon has no part in this because he doesn't want any of the credit. I really need to get a haircut I'm not really digging this too much, but um as of now uh, We're gonna go ahead and start piecing the car the car back together We're gonna start piecing together some of the parts that we can wrap that's gonna stay on the car at least make it more presentable and uh, Just clean up the car at, at this point and just get it ready for a wrap we're gonna, at this point guys It's whatever you live and you learn uh, we'll paint the bumpers that are coming on for the 435 I'm pretty sure we can handle small things, individual panels. If we mess up, we could repaint it. Like we can handle it. But something this big is overwhelming. It's going to be taking a lot more time to get all this stuff fixed. It's just simply not worth it. And I notice a lot of you guys are not enjoying the, the content on this particular car. We have a lot of other builds. You guys want to see that. So we're still going to save this car. Don't get me wrong. This car is hideous. We're still going to make it look beautiful in the day. Just not with paint. It's going to be with wrap. It's all right. It's whatever. It's life. To be honest with you, the car wasn't worth a paint job in the first place. So... Anyways, we didn't get the car. We messed up on the wrap. Okay, this is a little setback in life, but that's the thing. It's whatever. In life, there are setbacks. You just gotta keep moving on. We're gonna take it as a lesson we've learned. We learned something from it. They all lost some money. We didn't lose anything. <laughs> I'm not stressed out. He might be. It was, uh, it was the us money and me and Devon's most, mostly my work. I've never seen that car in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. But anyways, yeah, guys, it's whatever. That's life. We're just gonna move on. Let's just go ahead and um, start piecing some of the parts back together and just get it ready for wrap at least. So you guys, let us know what kind of color should we wrap it? Should we wrap it orange? Should we wrap it red? Should we wrap it blue? Should we, what exactly should we wrap it? The all one's thinking something towards an orange. I don't know how I feel about it, right but you guys. Orange. Bright. He basically on super bright orange. So you guys, let us know. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just start cleaning up the car.
All right, guys, so we're taking the hood latches off. And this is when you know this car is just not worth it anymore. <laughs> they welded the hood latch on. I just realized this side's been an accident. Oh my God, this, I'm telling you guys, this car is a piece of work. So yeah, guys, pretty janky stuff, uh, but we got this hood latch on, thank goodness. We got at least this one on. We're gonna go ahead and move the hood, try to get the fitment pretty good. Um, as of now, I think it sits there and it works. I mean, it works. We're gonna go ahead and move the bumper. It's sitting all janky and stuff because it's not even bolted on. So let's get that off real quick. So uh, they automatically stopped on the bumper. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and roughly just sand it while it's on the car. car the bumper has a lot of imperfections. What is going on here? Good as new? Good as new. How about over here? You just do the same thing. I what is going on here? There's like no bracket. We're gonna have to figure out what's going on there. Anyways, um, we'll, don't even clip it in yet. We have to sand the whole thing. We're gonna go ahead and sand this whole bumper so it'll be ready for wrap. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. You know I do it for the family. Yeah, give a fuck about it, Grammy. Yeah, cause they will never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we know so we just got the rear bumper on there, pretty much sanded it down, washed it off. So pretty much it's ready for wrap, and then pretty much the rest of the car is ready for wrap. Yep, that's that's the story. We also have the hood on there, which we're gonna be doing a little bit of bondo and fixing that up. And then we're also gonna be throwing on the front bumper when it's completely sanded and ready to go. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The main reason we're actually just pretty much putting off the whole paint thing, mainly because we messed up a lot, and it's gonna be taking us a lot of time to get that car ready to go. And that car is not on the top of my to-do list. I'm gonna be working on the 435, the 128. You guys are absolutely insane. We're about to hit 50,000 subscribers. Like one of one of the one of my videos. I'll throw it up like right here and you guys are pretty much I think it hit like 10,000 subscribers in less than a week and a half or two weeks which is absolutely insane so shout out to you guys for supporting the channel but like I, I, I promised you guys I promised you guys I'm gonna give away a car and that means when I hit 50k I'll be giving away a car so I have to go find a new build to build for you guys to give it away so I just don't have time for that anymore the money that we're gonna have to spend is just not worth it the car is it has 230,000 miles and it's a salvage title I mean let's be realistic wrap the car and we're good to go I don't even know why we paid in the first place we just want to try stuff anyways i'm gonna be looking out for a build for one of you guys and we be trying to pick up a build i'm gonna try to rebuild it. i'm gonna try to give it to one of you guys one of the subscribers i'm hoping you guys will be stoked for that let me know what kind of cars you guys want me to rebuild or find and give away to one of y'all to enter all i'm gonna be asking for is to subscribe to the channel so don't expect anything like entries or any wrap or anything like that it's gonna be completely free so if you guys are hyped for that make sure you smash the like button first time ever doing anything like that so yeah it's gonna be kind of crazy it's getting kind of late we're actually leaving the shop right now uh, we were gonna work on the struts, but instead we just ended up pretty much getting my brother's car together. And uh, yeah, today wasn't what you would call the most productive day. I'm going to open up some lights in here uh, because apparently you can't get pulled over for this. My mom used to tell me you, get, uh, you can get pulled over for having lights on in your car. Anyways, that was just a little fun uh, story I wanted to tell y'all. But yeah, today wasn't the most ideal day. There's ups and downs every single day. And obviously today wasn't the best day, but it's all right, that's life. I still want to show you guys how my day went because not every single day it's not all sunshine and butterflies and all that sunshine good stuff. Sun, sunshine and rainbows, however the hell you call that thing, you with Robert. So yeah, today wasn't the most like, oh my goodness, like another, you know, amazing day. It's fine, but this is this is life. You know, there's ups and downs. You know, the paint got messed up. A lot of our hard work went into it. Um, that's life. Um, of course, of course, we can probably get it fixed, but I told you guys we have other plans. We are reaching 50K subscribers. Shout out to all you guys. I, will, I would rather invest my time in trying to get you guys a build to give away to one of you guys than fixing my brother's car right now. My brother already decided, he's like, I'd rather just wrap the car because we haven't even painted the bumper, the hood, the side skirts. So he's even like, he's on the same page here. So yeah, that's that. It's whatever. Um, as far as for the other E90 that we're gonna pick up today, that's life. Again, things happen in life. But that's not gonna put down my mood because guys, we have some crazy things coming in for the, th the 435. Like when I mean crazy, I mean suspension craziness. I've never done anything like this in my life. I think I may be going a little bit full retard, but I love this car and we're gonna go all out with this car. Wheels, tires, um, suspension. It's gonna be some crazy stuff. And I mean crazy, I mean I'm going all out, like go big or go home. And then for the 128, we are going crazy, stuff I've never done before either. So if you guys are stoked for all that stuff, make sure to smash the like button. And without further ado guys, it is a short video. Life is a blessing. And today was still one of them. I'm still breathing, that's all that matters. So without further ado you guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. So I just wanna to add to the video guys, I just got the adaptive headlight error. I'm still blessed, God bless.